Parents are freaking crazy this day when it comes to birthday parties, right? Oh, dude, they go way overboard. They go crazy. I mean, they rent bouncy houses, and they like they basically build Disneyland for kids for their birthday. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's over the top in every way. It's crazy. Yeah, and I mean they just, they, they bring in like animals have like petting zoos at their house. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we were kids in the eighties? It was a simple thing as like a pizza party. Yes. And your friends would come over and you put on your swimsuits and you throw water balloons at each other. Happy birthday. Right. So today we're going to talk about those epic birthday parties of the eighties right after this. Welcome to Whiskey Pop. I'm Jeff. And I'm Zane. And today we're going to talk about the epic. epic birthday parties, right? Yep. Of the 80s? Of the 80s. So you remember when we were kids, it was like it was like the birthday party of summer was the uh, best oh time yeah. to have a birthday it party. Was absolutely the best. The unfortunate thing for me is my birthday falls in the fall. And mine's in February. So it was always our friends. Yep, it was our cousins friends. Cousins and mm -hmm. stuff like that would have those yeah, epic sure. birthday parties during the summer. Right. But I mean, in the 80s, it was a thing. Right? Oh, absolutely, it was a thing. So before we talk about that, though. <laughs> we got some business to We got get stuff to. To, to drink, right? Oh, yeah. You what want me having? to show you what we're going to have today? I really want to know what we're having. Ooh. Oh, yes. This is that is what I think that is? Peg Leg Porker. Now, I was excited to mm -hmm. try this. I was, too. So. And I think they make an eight-year and a 12-year for this. This is the, the eight-year. Eight yeah, this is the eight-year. So the eight-year, so I can't wait, right? Right. And I can't wait, either. smell this okay now that's weird was it because i was eating pizza earlier were we eating pizza earlier i don't think so no that was only for the camera it does bring out a little bit more of the oh i'm just gonna taste i'm it. getting a little caramel a little caramel oh you're gonna you just taste it already oh well, he's in i'm into it all right let's hear what you say let me hear what you got Ooh, it's it's hot is it because of the pizza it may be because of the pizza the tomato really tends to raise the level of whiskey but Okay, I'm going. It's got a smooth back finish. Wait for it. Okay, that's smoky. It's like bacon. It's kind of <laughs> smoky. It's like, like bacon. It's got enough smoke on it. Oh, that... And it's baked like porker. Oh, well, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, I wonder if that's on purpose. Huh? You know, I don't know. But after you drink it and then you smell it again, yeah. you really pick up the smoke. That's interesting. So, I'm literally just tasting bacon. Well, that's because you just had pepperoni pizza. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I think I think it really, there is a meaty, kind of smoky flavor to this whiskey. We have to look up the tasting notes. Yeah, we'll if, if you've had peg leg porker, hey, uh, comment down below. We'd be interested in what you remember about it. But I would say this is... That's pretty good. That's pretty dang good in eight years. Yeah, and eight years. So, you know, I mean, normally whiskey's around four on the average, so... Eight year? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. I'm telling you. So, <laughs> birthday parties. Birthday in the parties 80s. of the 80s. It pretty much always involved water of some kind or. You're probably right. So, like most birthday parties in the 80s happened usually in the house. They did, or thereabouts. Or other areas that we, we might talk about today. Sure, so, sure. Uh, I think first we have to look at the fact that when you would have a friend or a family member had a birthday party, mm -hmm. you'd go to their house, they'd have like a little themed cake. Of course. You know, maybe Spider-Man. And then you would have some little activity, throw really? water balloons at each other. Mm -hmm. And then you would open presents, and then everybody walks away with a goodie bag full of candy. Yes, right. Not that crap they put in kids' baggies today. If you were super lucky, you would all get rounded up into somebody's van or something. Oh, not yeah. wearing seatbelts. You'd go to the local Baskin-Robbins, and you'd have the, uh, oh, wow. the bubblegum clown 
birthday. Oh, I remember, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I, remember the, I remember those. You can still buy those. Oh, can you? You sure can. I think I've been in Baskin Robbins before the quarantine. Oh, yep, right. And they had those still in the freezer section. Okay, well, there you go. So they're still there. So, I mean, did you have a Baskin Robbins cake? I mean, that'd be interesting to see. I never had one. Yeah. No, I mean, My mother funny. would go to the local grocery store bakery and she said hey make a cake as you saw in one of our episodes where yeah we yeah, made a superman, superman spider-man, Spider-Man cake yeah, right. so, <laughs> you know oh my didn't gosh. always turn out right so but i mean that's what it was i mean parents today just go freaking crazy with birthday parties yeah. for the kids it's like they're trying to make up for the crappy birthday parties we had but they were crappy <laughs> they were great i mean no i honestly can say most of the time i had a yeah. great time yeah, I think most of my birthdays growing up. But they were they were simple, more simple back then. I mean, it wasn't this orchestrated craziness. Kids don't need crazy. But I had the epic McDonald's birthday party oh. when I was in the second grade. <laughs> really? Tell me about this. Okay. Well, I I got in trouble on that birthday party. <laughs> you got in trouble on your birthday? I did, and it was it was for. Uh, Random reasons. Basically, they're little kids at my birthday party that were allowed to basically cheat at the games because they were so small. So I never even got a chance well, to even compete. Been the tell on grimace? What? Yeah, it was drop crap and cups and stuff like that, you know. And if you're like standing literally over it, and you know, hey, I might be a little salty, but it. it was my birthday party. You know, let it go. Let Stop it, go. it! I refuse to sing. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> but no, I mean that was back in the day when they were still making the hamburgers ahead of time and the hottest ones were in the back of this chute that they would slide down in and they you know i mean oh wow i remember that yeah it was simple time like when you were glad to get a little hand puppet thing that was made of bad plastic i mean think about it going to mcdonald's as a kid was a big deal yeah because we always ate at home just going to the mcdonald's was a big deal yeah it was a special treat yeah to go to mcdonald's for a birthday party now here's the crazy thing mcdonald's yeah the biggest missed opportunity for this ever Okay. Ronald McDonald never showed up. How hard would it be to hire a teenager to dress up he Ronald McDonald? He never showed up. In fact, I had to prepare all the food for my own guests. Yeah, you walk in with your cake and everything, right? Well, yeah. Except for the, the burger and the fries. But then they take me behind the back, and I have to make the shakes and the Cokes and you all made this it? crap. Yeah, I did Man, all that's that. that's child labor law issues right there. But for some reason, that was an awesome birthday party, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> you actually made a quarter pounder. <laughs> ah, yeah, you know, I did the whole thing. Well, the quarter pounder was a Royale with cheese. It was not a Royale with cheese. <laughs> Royale with cheese. <laughs> but, you know. I and mean, if you don't know what we're talking about there, you, you may be on the wrong channel. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll, we'll so, do that again. so when you're doing these parties, right, what was your favorite thing about all this? I mean, just the friends? Was I it think, the games? It, you know, honestly, I think it's the one time. So so I'm an extrovert. Okay. And I know you're an introvert. I am an introvert. You wouldn't believe it, but he's an introvert. You I am that? shy. He is super AF. shy. So I think having a birthday was people, mm-hmm. they focus on you. It's kind of a feel-good moment. And mm-hmm. honestly, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It was the present. <laughs> so, I mean, there was pool parties and then there was pizza parties. Oh, yeah, that was the thing. I mean, you know, remember when you go to your local pizza parlor and you have a mm-hmm. party and you would, you know, you'd order pizza. And there were, I don't know why, how pizza parties got started because literally you go to the restaurant, you sit down with your friends. Yeah. You order pizza. Yes. You eat pizza, you eat some cake, and you go home. Unless you were living in my town in Springfield. Yeah. With Godfather's Pizza. Oh, Godfather's Pizza. To which they had a Galaxian game. Yeah. Side by side to a Fireball pinball machine. I'm very well made, aware of Fireball. <laughs> which made birthdays <laughs> epic. Yes, he does. Oh, what? You're talking <laughs> about? No, stop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you're right. So that's where you fell in love with Fireball. But what? But... It was, but here's the thing: is I didn't get to have a lot of of the most epic birthday parties, but I got to attend. Oh, you didn't have the epic birthday party? No, I had some that I got to attend, which so involved animatronics. It did. So oh. there was this little place back in the 1980s. Some of you may be aware of this place today, but it it's not the same. No, no, it's not. The same. It was called Showbiz Pizza. Fun is made for sharing. Share the fun. At Showbiz Pizza Place We've got family fun at Showbiz Dayton fun at Showbiz Everyone fun at Showbiz Showbiz Pizza Place We've got eating fun at Showbiz Racing fun at Showbiz Showbiz fun at Showbiz Showbiz Pizza Place
to play. Share the fun, come on and share the fun. At Showbiz Pizza Plays. Epic of epic birthdays, right? It was... It was like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but in your local town. It was incredible. <laughs> it was great. I remember the first time I ever went to Showbiz Pizza. I, I literally, as a child, if it's possible to shart your pants. Yeah. I sharted my pants. I was sitting there watching a gorilla play a piano, Sing. and his eyes flashing, and he's doing that, and yeah. he's, they're making <laughs> jokes to their other, and it's all robots. So what was the name of the explosion? Animatron, it's, oh my what God. What was the name of the band? Uh, oh, yeah, Rocket Fire, Fire Explosion. Explosion. <laughs> That's right. I mean, freaking awesome, right? No, it was so cool. I mean, this was before we had everything inundated with technology, really. It was like going to Disneyland at a low-scale version. Yes. Covered in arcade games and, and, like, ball pits and... You know, I don't remember eating the pizza that was there. I do, and it was nasty. See, I don't. It didn't matter to me. I think I think it was should have been card called cardboard pizza. It could have been shoe leather, and I wouldn't have cared. Do you, I was do you just remember the all. remember the jingle for it? Showbiz pizza, where a kid can be a kid. Woo! <laughs> yeah. No, of course I remember. That's right, man. It's like in there forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now years later, they they off shot a Chuck E. Cheese pizza. So there was at one time Showbiz Pizza and Chuck E. Cheese Pizza. Mm -hmm. And we had both here in Tulsa. So that Chuck made E. Cheese, you lucky. it was cool because it was like going to Showbiz again with some new stuff, new characters, new mm -hmm. animatronic stuff. Right. But eventually, unfortunately, Showbiz basically disappeared and Chuck E. Cheese took over. And then I've heard recently, I haven't been to a show, uh, Chuck E. Cheese in a decade. I've been a, I've been to a, a Chuck E. Cheese within the last decade. And I heard there's no animatronics in there anymore. No animatronics. They have a guy wearing a mascot suit. It's lame. The pizza still sucks. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese sucked. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese was the one mascot that I felt like, you know what? I would literally kick him in the nut sack. He was just that would that, be a great idea. How could uh, we do that? I'm sure we could figure out something pretty crazy. But I mean, did you have a birthday at Showbiz Pizza? Do you remember Showbiz Pizza? Did you get to take your kids to it before it was gone? Um, I know my kids been to Chuck E. Cheese, not Showbiz. I think my son and my daughter have had a Chuck E. Cheese pizza, you know, birthday. Yeah. But it was back when they were still doing animatronics. Well, that's awesome for them. And I remember then they had retrofitted the characters, like the gorilla and all those guys, to look different. So even Billy Bob wasn't Billy Bob anymore. Oh, he was like a Chuck E. Cheese type character. It was now. some other character, but they like kind of just put new costuming on him. Well, I guess you could. And I was like, oh, this sucks. And so I mean, but in the '80s, guys, Showbiz Pizza was the most epic of birthday parties. I mean, you've got to go to a Showbiz Pizza even just to go to Showbiz Pizza. That was a big deal. It was a big deal to get to have a birthday there. Yeah. It was a whole bigger scale. And I mean, yeah, I mean, your friends were pretty impressed. Tell me. So here's the deal. We all this talk about epic birthday parties and stuff, right? Yeah, of course. We got to do something crazy. So you know that we love showbiz pizza. Yes, we love showbiz pizza. But Chuck E. Cheese is kind of lame. Chuck E. Lame Cheese. Chuck E. Lame Cheese. I mean, literally kick him in the nut sack, right? In the sack. It's like, I did something. Okay, what did you do? You're gonna have to come in the backyard to see it though, but I've got some water balloons and a slingshot, and it involves Chuck E. Cheese. So stay with us. Let's do it. We'll be right back. What are we doing? So you know how we talked about epic birthday parties, right? Of course. So you know epic birthday parties, you normally had them at your house. Well, sure. So I thought, you know, they have usually ends up with, you know, water balloons, right? Yeah, of course. Plus, you know, we talked about the fact that Showbiz Pizza. Showbiz. Way better. Yeah. Way better. I love Showbiz Pizza. Way better than Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. I mean, who does not want to kick Chuck E. Cheese in the nut sack? Uh, I would love to kick the nut of the cheese. So I got an idea. What if I let you shoot water balloons at Chuck E. Cheese's nut sack? Well, um, obviously game. Let's do it. So... We got a Chuck E. Cheese. Slingshot. Okay. 
and we're gonna shoot these water balloons. Okay. At Chuck E. Cheese's crotch. So, but I think it, we shouldn't keep this to just you and I. Okay. I think we need to bring the guys in on this one. Okay. So four of us are gonna do it. So David, Brent, Zane, and myself, and we'll see who's the better shot. All right. Well, you're so, up. You're oh, old, I'm up. You're old enough, so. All right. Let's do this. I need some space, like Robin Hood, you know. We are definitely not marksmen when it comes to uh, water ballooning. Water ballooning, right? That's for sure. But Chucky, I think he sharded himself a couple of times. Yeah, he came really close to not holding it all in. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. So you know, it doesn't matter if you're into showbiz pizza or Chuck E. Cheese. You know, you have a place here at Whiskey Pop. So you know, next time you never know. But so next week we're gonna do another summer episode. That's right. And so I think it has to do with water and popsicles and everything to cool off in the summer of the '80s. You mean you actually got cool in the, in the summertime during the 80s? Oh, yeah. Slip and slide. Oh, slip and slide. So we'll see you again next week, guys. Be cool. Be geeky. We'll see you next week. Right? You mean the thing I tore my leg off on? That thing. <laughs> we'll see you next week. It's really good, but I still taste bacon. No, oh, I actually taste like bacon. It's bacon. There is bacon in this whiskey. Are they fooling us with just the label name? No, I don't think so. I think they shoved a whole lot of bacon in that barrel. <laughs> I mean, it's bacon. It's pretty dang good. And bacon and whiskey? Yeah, it's good. I'm in.